what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A Los Angeles County Sheriff's deputy has been charged with running a large-scale criminal empire in which he boasted that he hired law enforcement officers to provide protection to dealers and could get people assaulted for his clients, of course, for the right price. This guy goes by the name of Kenneth Collins. He's Deputy Kenneth Collins. And he and three other men were arrested by the FBI following a sting in which he was being investigated for several months. In the recording, they caught him discussing his extensive drug trafficking network, past criminal conduct, and willingness to accept bribes to use his law enforcement status for criminal purposes. Dude said, I fix problems. He also said, I make things go away. I'm assuming that he also makes people go away. Man, finally got one. Amazing. I'm stunned. I'm, I'm, sh I'm shocked. I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled. Amazing. This dude is probably the reason why the prices are so high. You out here robbing dealers, taking the dope money, taking the the dope too, and redistributing it. <sighs> what we gonna do, y'all? Say, man, you can't just point at Mexico, right? You can't just point at South American countries and China and places in the Middle East. <laughs> It is time to stop faking like America is this picture-perfect, wholesome society. It's never been that. America has done a great job of protecting and projecting that image for centuries. They've done a great job. Thanks to the internet, it's all being exposed. Now, this guy was getting his hustle on. A drug dealer. I mean, drug dealer cop is, is not like some type of oxymoron. I mean, this is very, very common, y'all. There is a lot of cops, people in law enforcement in general, who are involved in selling drugs. There are judges who are drug dealers in this country. Let's not forget that. If you think there's no drugs being sold by judges and cops and members of law enforcement in America, you really are slow in the head. You are very slow. The truth of the matter is, the only difference between Many of these people who work in law enforcement and who work in the judicial system and the common street criminal is the profession. That's it. It's titles. That's it. It's the same people. This is why you can't fix the corruption in America. You can't fix a lot of the problems because Corrupt people are in the positions. They are the gatekeepers. And they're not going to allow you to fix the problem. The whole crack epidemic would have never happened if not for the U.S. government. They're the ones who created the problem. And then they want to run their asses out here talking about a war on drugs. So they go and create the problem. Create the chaos. And then try to step in and play hero and get the credit for trying to fix the problem. And, that's the, and trying to fix the problem is an illusion because any problem they create, they don't want to fix it. 
They don't want to fix. When they create a problem and they pretend to fix the problem, what they do is create an even worse problem. People be so desperate for a fix that they will accept any terms and conditions that are levied against the so-called violators. And this is how you continue to get rights taken away from you. People just, I mean, it's just people just slow, man. I mean, look at Donald Trump. I mean, look at all the people who voted for him and who continue to support him. Look at all the people out there who give all of their money to churches. You got some people who get kicked out of their homes who will get evicted because they will take equity out of their home and put it into the church. Get kicked out, nowhere to go, not even to the church. And look how many people fall for this stuff over and over and over again. This dude, I tell you what he should have did. Instead of being a deputy, he should have went and got him a job at the CIA. Probably would still be free. In fact, I know he would. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?